hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with thermal radiation measurement uh, the discussion related to pyrometers so far we have discussed about various types of pyrometers uh, the constructional setup so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, fiber optic uh, pyrometers okay so before discussing fiber optic pyrometers let us just have a quick look at uh, uh, optical fibers which is a very important part of this pyrometer setup so optical fibers I've already discussed about these things in detail in the optoelectronics uh, section you can check uh, those videos so I would recommend you to please watch those videos related to optical fibers basics first and then come to this video because here I'm going to discuss a lot of things in a quick way related to optical fibers so if you don't have an idea about optical fibers, please watch those videos first. So optical fi fibers are basically cylindrical waveguides that uh, carry, you know, uh, light through long distances and with very low losses. So they are generally made up of silica glass with uh, high precision techniques and uh, the phenomena through which light travels in within the optical fiber is called as total internal reflection that is when light strikes the interface of the optical fiber at an angle greater than the critical angle it returns back into the same medium so the structure of the optical fiber it consists of three parts core cladding and jacket and there are different refractive index values core and cladding so total internal reflection occurs so in order to facilitate total inter uh, internal reflection core cladding are of different refractive index values so optical fibers they can be classified into two types on the basis of uh, refractive index of the core and diameter or number of propagation modes transmission modes so on the basis of refractive index it is of two types step index and graded index in step index the refractive index of the core is constant and graded index it varies parabolically with respect to the radius of the core okay on the basis of core diameter uh, it is mono mode optical fiber having only one transmission mode which means only one light ray can travel at a time multi mode multiple light rays can travel now this is all related to optical fibers so please watch uh, in detail about these concepts in the optoelectronics section now the fiber optic pyrometer setup so in a normal uh, pyrometer setup what happens we already know that we have a source of radiation hot body we have a focusing element we have a temperature detector and a measuring instrument fiber optic pyrometers has this extra element optical fiber okay so why fiber optic pyrometer is very important is that it can uh, actually we can transmit the radiations which are basically electromagnetic radiations over long distances with the help of optical fiber so it slightly increases the range the measurement range so instead of directly focusing the radiation onto the focusing element we are using optical fibers so how this whole setup works is that we have the setup like this okay we have the source or the hot body which is the source of radiation okay which is emitting radiation here we are using a optical fiber so the radiations which are basically electromagnetic radiations they are focused into the optical fiber they strike the optical fiber and it is made sure that the radiations they strike the optical fiber at an angle greater than the critical angle so that total internal reflection occurs then those radiations the heat radiations they travel within the optical fiber through multiple total internal reflection okay and finally at the other end it strikes the reflecting surface or the uh, focusing element whether it is a lens or a mirror and from there 
it strikes the uh, temperature detector okay so here also there is no direct contact between the temperature transducer and the hot body or so so indirect contact so here the temperature detector it measures the temperature of the radiation it can be a rtd it can be a thermocouple it can be a uh, photo detector whatever so it gives us an output either in the form of resistance change capacitance change or direct voltage or current so that is measured with the help of the measuring instrument which can be a voltmeter or ammeter so again uh, we can determine whatever parameters we want to measure whether it is energy temperature wavelength depending on the uh, three laws that you know govern the whole measurement thing related to pyrometers the thermal radiation which is planck's law which gives us energy relationship with respect to wavelength and temperature or wien's displacement law correlating the wavelength and temperature the wavelength at which peak energy radiation happens or stefan's boltzmann law which gives us a direct relationship with respect to the energy of the radiation and temperature okay so this is fiber optic pyrometers who only difference between a normal radio uh, pyrometer setup and fiber optic pyrometers is this optical fiber okay which carries the heat radiations through multiple total internal reflections okay so this is the uh, fiber optic pyrometer setup so with the using of optical fibers we are slightly increasing the range okay of operation of the uh, pyrometer thing okay so this is all about fiber optic pyrometers so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much